hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl lily bako i know it's been a while since i've actually talked on here because i'm mostly making vlogs and stuff and i'm sorry but the truth is that i actually skeptical about making videos with me talking in them because i feel like people want to watch them like they'd probably bore you you probably rather just see some action oh my god this necklace okay i had to fix that uh, as i was saying you guys might be bored if I do stuff like that. That's why I just like not talk on here. I'd really like it if you guys drop some comments and tell me if you'd like to hear me talk more like story time or those kind of videos I did like the dog shit saga and Rihanna thing. You guys just let me know if you want to hear me talk like that. And if I talk like that, I'm going to watch it, please. You will have to let me know. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be having story time, guys. Yes, guys, I'm going to be telling you a story about me. I got this contract with a manager for two years, but somehow I didn't take the deal at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be telling you guys about. I don't know how to frame the topic, but like, yeah, that's that. So subscribe, like, think watch my videos. Google Lily Baco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's get into the story, guys. this family friend right and then he happens to know this lady no she's not a lady exactly she's a woman she's a mom she's a mom to one of like the popular influencers right now and then like yeah he happened to know her they were related so um I then I was still in school I told him about my life choices like what I want to do after school and everything and then he told me how he knew this girl's mom and then he was going to talk to her because she manages her daughter her daughter is doing very well and he's like he's going to let me know see if she could manage me too and stuff and i'm like oh yeah sure like i was so excited eh? and <laughs> i i didn't really like school stuff, so like i was trying to just finish that shit and like just fucking move on before i finished school i kept on checking back and then he's like, I don't know school, finish school first because they are based in Lagos, my is based in Lagos. And he's like, so like, if at all he needs me to travel, I'd be able to and stuff. And I eventually finished school and then I told him about it and he spoke to her about it. And then she agreed that she was going to manage me and then she was going to draft out the contract. And then we'll continue from there. I hadn't met her before, so I had to meet with her first. I met with her the first time she came to Abuja. And then we spoke and then stuff and then she asked me if my parents were aware blah 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 and then she said we should rush down to our job but the next time she's going to come with the contract and stuff that's for she brought the contract then she eventually brought the contract and gave it to me it was a two years deal she drafted um i'm supposed to split my money 50 50 way let me not say my money whatever i make from the job she gives me and the job she doesn't give me i was supposed to give her 50 percent um, she was going to handle my logistics and wardrobe, makeup and stuff. But I was going to have to move to Lagos, but she wasn't going to provide accommodation for me. I was supposed to sort that out myself. And um, what else? Uh, that's why all these terms, like, at that point, I wanted to finish school and, like, leave Abuja because I wanted to leave Abuja. If you're close to me, you know I wanted to leave Abuja at least for a while. So um, I was really cool with the Lagos parts, even though I hadn't figured out where I was going to stay. I was supposed to manage basically an influencer, an actress, and a model, yeah. So now, one of the main issues is was accommodation. I did not not take this deal because of the deal. <laughs> like, it's not because of I had to split my money 50-50. So let's keep going down the story. Hmm. Now I'm trying to figure out where I was going to stay in Lagos. So I have this friend, and she stays in Lagos, and I spoke to her about it. If I could stay at her place for a while before I like figure out where I'll stay, if I'm supposed to eventually rent, go and see her stuff and stuff. And then she was going to talk to her mom about it. And then, but it was supposed to be a problem. So she spoke to her mom about it eventually. And then it was cool, I could come. But I wasn't ready yet, so I was trying to like plan my coming. And then when I was ready to go, that was like last year, October. Yeah, in October. I was finally ready to go to Lagos. I booked my flight and everything. 
Oh, I didn't talk about the part where my dad wasn't in support of me going. But I didn't, I, I'm not talking about it on here because like, I didn't really care about that, like the fact that he didn't, because like, I was going to go. <laughs> so yeah, I booked my flight and then I spoke to my friend that was supposed to stay at her place and then her dad was very ill and I couldn't go to her place at that time. Yeah, that was the first problem. I was trying to like see if I could find options, but at the same time, I knew that I wasn't trying to just go and stay with anybody because like I can't just stay with anybody. And it's Lagos, I don't even I can't trust anybody. Normally, you talk more in Lagos. I'm like, meanwhile, my manager actually was trying to help me too, but her boy's quarters was taken, and she lived in a two-bedroom flat. I was she and her daughter, and I told you guys her daughter is like a big influencer too, like. I just wish like she had a place part of the contract like anyways but she tried to help me like find like boys quarters to, to like rent and stay but like everybody around and she didn't want me too far too because she actually was quite protective so she was like if you haven't sorted out where you stay don't come to Lagos yet and all these things and then I was supposed to tell her where I was supposed to stay, be staying if I eventually came and all anyways that's how I missed my flight so I had to move the flight to when I will move it to again, I can't even remember. I stayed back in Abuja and I was here. I was still in Abuja not being useless. So like, I was still trying to walk then. I was not trying to put all my eggs into we are going to Lagos and everything. So here I was still trying to get some things done. And like, so do stuff. That was when I stayed my YouTube stuff actually, if I'm not mistaken, when I called to spring class. I was trying to see if I could talk to anybody. I could stay with in Lagos and as much as anybody is not anybody because I just want to stay with anybody. Anyway, then time got closer, I hadn't figured out where to stay. And then I started to look more into this contract and I'm like, things in Abuja are looking so bad. And then I, like, I'm supposed to be an influencer and then like my TikTok isn't popping like that. And like, if I'm supposed to go to Lagos, I'm supposed to start from scratch. Meanwhile, in Abuja here, I've been here all my life. I have some level of like, I can't just go and start from scratch again. It's going to be stressful as shit. So. Even when she well, actually she told me that if I actually moved to Lagos for like the first two to three months I might not get any job. Like she was honest enough to tell me that I was looking for where I'd stay, pay for my friends that got better or I'll rent a place or something. It was not looking like I didn't really need the Lagos. I wanted the Lagos because it's going to be faster for my career because like here I'm on my own, I do everything on my own. But if I was going to have that manager, she already has like it's going to make me grow in the industry faster and everything. So like yeah, that was one of the main reasons why I was down to take a 50-50 deal, man. Because like if it's the money, like definitely I'm sure I've been I won't be only trying to make money from having a manager. So like that wasn't a really problem because I knew what I was chasing and like I was actually now thinking of making a one-year contract and everything but I had to figure out my accommodation. Oh I opened the flight at this point. I opened the flight and I'm like I'm not sure so like and they said I could leave it open for a year. So I opened my flight. And then as I was now staying and living in Abuja I was just feeling like do I need to go to Lagos? Do I want to put myself through that? Especially right now that I don't have enough money to rent my place if I'm supposed to even live with someone there like almost I just had time to think things through and then things in Abuja weren't also looking so bad. Like it's not the it's not how fast you get there, it's how well you get there. What do they say? I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So like I wanted to be in a hurry, but at the same time I know I'm not in a hurry. So like and then I think sometime this year, I can't remember when I check. I think before they did, is it AMVCA? I can't remember. I think it was AMVCA Awards or something. Then she sent me a message and she was like, she, she said something. I don't know if I'll check and like I'll just attach them. But I didn't know what to respond to and then I was still hoping to go. So I just left the message and then I'm, I don't know where to stay in Lagos. I don't know where to stay in Lagos. So like, uh, that's how I didn't take the deal. And then sometimes I used to want to ask myself if I regret not taking the deal. But honestly, I don't regret not taking the deal. I don't regret it. I really like to be comfortable. So like I can't be going to a whole new state to not be comfortable every other day maybe. Or like put my like 
I was not sure about Lagos settlement, so like, yeah, I rather stay here. And then I stayed here in Abuja. Then I got into <laughs> depression. <laughs> I felt like I was just living in people's shadows. I was just drowning in self pity. I don't know. I just there was just a point in my life this year from like July ish, I think June. I was battling anxiety, um, depression. <sighs> I've never admitted like that. Like I have I'm battling depression. No, <laughs> saying it actually should I say felt like a relief, but mm, I've never admitted to it. That's why. Anyways, yeah, I was dealing with stuff. If you are close to me, if you have me on social media, especially WhatsApp, you know that like I've been on and off, on and off, like. This year, my birthday this year was like my the worst birthday ever. Like sometimes I feel I wish I could just crash scratch out August from 2022 because I think that was my worst. That was my worst month. August was shit. August was shit. The only good part of August was the end when I went to worry. Oh yeah, and I have that vlog pending. But that was the only good part of August because I got to take a break. And then I was, I was getting better before worry, but I feel like when I went to worry and came back, I felt much better. Then I got myself back. I'm so happy that I'm out of that place right now. And I'm obviously in a better place, thank God. And we are moving towards a better, better place. It only gets better from here. We are only going up from here. Right now, I'm like, really actively chasing my career because <laughs> nobody's going to do for me i'm trying to not let any negative stuff come in my way i'm not trying to let self-pity get me this time i'm not trying to make myself feel like i'm not enough or think i'm not enough because i know i'm enough like I just only want to be talking business see right now in my life like my instagram whenever i see instagram message requests here yeah, i'm like hoping is like a job opportunity anyways please guys like right now i think i'm going to add my rate card to the end of this video but like i'm all about my dough my cheddar my money my right now so please guys let's work i'm model i'm an influencer i'm a content creator and obviously now i'm a youtuber so like let's work guys if you are a clothing brand cosmetic brand jewelry brand hair brand fashion brand have i said that before whatever kind of brand phone brand any brand want me to model for you want me to create content for you want me to influence for you guys i'm gonna do it i'm i'm not going to let you down trust me just hire me employ me i'm not <laughs> i'm not expensive you guys i'm not expensive i'm very very affordable i'm going to put my risk at the end of this video just book me i'm a video vixen actually i've actually worked on like two videos two or three music videos anyway guys book me please i'm hungry and i need to eat food like this baby girl needs to survive what you saying guys like, let's work you guys so we've come to the end of this story time i hope i did not like start talking rubbish i hope like i made the point and like you guys got the gist yeah if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up drop a comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please you guys share with your friends family relations enemies uh, acquaintances everybody guys everybody please check me out on all social media platform let's work creatives please let's work if you also want to collaborate you can hit me up i'm going to drop my social media handles just talk to me anything work hit me up you guys so guys it was nice talking to you guys see you next time